In detail, you can use any camera to record or stream. It can be your built-in webcam, a USB camera, or your iPhone. In this short video, I would like to explain a few different options on how you can get details set up with your camera. So let's talk through the different options. First, there's the iPhone. So I install detail for iOS from the App Store on my iPhone, and I connect it straight in detail. Ideally, when I connect my phone, I'll be using a USB to lightning cable because a cabled connection will give the best performance. This is a standard Apple out of the box version. One end goes into your MacBook and of course the lightning port on the other side. And I would just connect it to my Mac. Uh, I'm using a MacBook Pro, which has three ports, which is nice. And now the device is connected. A USB connection is always the best option because it one, it gives the best quality. We will increase the bandwidth whenever you use USB. Um, and Wi-Fi is not always stable. It really depends on local conditions. I'm yet now using the default Apple cable. Uh, we regularly use these types of generic brand long cables. So this one is two and a half meters. Um, that's USB-C on one end and of course lightning on the other end. And this gives me a very reliable, fast connection whenever I'm using my iPhone. We support an unlimited number of devices. We actually tested it with up to five or six uh, iPhones. Um, typically, you would run into issues with ports on your Mac, and therefore we often use these types of hubs. Keep in mind, when, when you use a hub, in order to get the best quality, it at least needs to be USB 3. Um, and typically, you need a powered hub because the iPhone will drain power from your Mac. and It will not support more than a single device um, if you would use a hub. So I really like these little Sidecom uh, hubs. Uh, this is the only USB-C hub that I could find in the Netherlands that was available. It's around 50 or 60 euros, which is pretty expensive, but it has three USB-C out uh, ports and one uh, port to connect power. So if I connect a MacBook charger to this port, the hub will be powered over USB-C and I can easily connect three iPhones over one USB port. So this goes into my MacBook. I have one, I lost one port, but I can use three ports. Well, we're using these types of hubs whenever we're recording, for example, a podcast or do multi-camera view, and we have two or three iPhones connected to the same machine. Could be an iPhone, could be an iPad, uh, whatever you prefer. So a good solid cable, ideally a little bit longer. It can also be the generic Apple cable that comes with the phone. Uh, a hub if you want to connect more than one device or if you have uh, other ports in use on your Mac. And this is a really easy way to connect your iPhone. So I think the iPhone, uh, by definition, is the easiest way to connect. But if you want to upgrade your camera, oh, of course, easier than the iPhone would be, of course, the built-in webcam. So I can use the FaceTime camera on my Mac. Uh, the quality of that, I actually didn't even show it or even think about it uh, because the quality is just really mediocre and typically I try to avoid the uh, webcam. Uh, I'm using it for calls, but that's about it. So if you want to record any serious video, I would definitely use either the iPhone or that brings me to the third option, uh, another camera. I'm currently shooting this on a Sony camera that supports USB-C out. So whenever I connect that USB-C, the USB-C port on my Sony to the USB-C port on my Mac, it automatically shows up as a webcam. For a lot of devices like this Sony ZV-1, another great little camera. This is a pretty popular vlogging camera. Um, if, I would connect, use, if I would connect this over USB, uh, which is being supported with, an, with a little app that I installed from Sony, the quality is really mediocre and it actually drops a lot of frames. So I would say that's not a reasonable option if you want to record high quality video. But the good news is that it's much easier actually to just connect it over HDMI. So a lot of cameras actually have a HDMI port. In this particular case, it's a HDMI, like a mini HDMI port. So there are these little adapters or HDMI, mini HDMI cables. So it has mini HDMI, which looks a little bit like a, a USB, like a micro USB. And it goes into the HDMI port of the uh, camera. And then on the other end of this adapter, there is a standard HDMI port. You also have cables that have HDMI, like micro or mini HDMI on one end and the normal size on the other end. So this little dongle goes into a device that we call a capture device. 
So this is USB-C. So on the other end, there is a HDMI in. And this takes a HDMI video feed and actually turns it into a webcam on your system. So this is the generic brand. This is 20 euros. A little bit more expensive variant would be the Gamlink, so the 4K Gamlink. Both of these devices actually support 4K video. We currently don't support 4K video in detail yet, uh, but who knows, might be coming. And then there is another um, capture device, which is a little bit larger. This takes a HDMI input and an HDMI out, and it connects over USB-C. This is the HD60X from Elgato. And the benefit of this device is that it actually could take, for example, the output from a video console and then also routes the same video signal to your television. So if you, be, if you want to capture like a game or want to use the, the capture device for different uh, types of video streaming, um, you could use this as well. So this actually takes the video signal, turns it into webcam, but it also forwards the same video. We're using it for a camera, so I can highly recommend these. I'm actually uh, streaming with one of these generic devices now, and I'm actually recording this in detail um, with the uh, with this capture device, another version of this. So let's quickly run through the different options. Of course, we have the built-in webcam on most MacBooks. And the built-in webcam is a really easy option if you want to get video in a video call or if you want to record like a quick demo, but the quality is really mediocre and I wouldn't use it for anything serious. Then you have your iPhone as the best upgrade. Just connect it over USB to a lightning cable and you have a really, really good quality video feed that you can use to stream or record video. We also use the iPhones as backup angles. So if you want to record, for example, a podcast with multiple cameras, connecting two iPhones and one main camera is actually a really good way to spice up your footage without too much effort and without investing a ton in multiple devices. And then we have the third option, which is a decent camera. Most DSLRs and most um, cameras that you buy today actually have a HDMI out port. Ideally, you've, you'll find a device that actually supports charging over USB, so you don't necessarily need a dummy battery because the, the camera will drain while you use it. So you have these fake batteries that are attaching a battery on one end and a cable on the other end, and they keep the device charged while using it. But some devices like the Sony ZV-1 and the Sony A7 and a lot of Canon models actually charge over USB while you use it. They might drain a little bit, so typically the USB charge is not fast enough to keep it charged while using it, but it's more than enough to record multiple hours of footage or use your webcam all day long and then charge it at night again. So USB is nice to charge, but the quality of the USB output is really mediocre, typically, for most models. The, there are definitely sort of devices that do a decent USB-C uh, video stream at 30 frames per second, like the Sony a7 IV, but most devices actually, while they claim to do USB, don't do proper video over USB. So the best option, the most stable option, is actually getting a capture card and connecting that to the HDMI port of your camera. And if you have a clean HDMI out, you can actually connect that to a capture card. And those come in different types of forms. And with that capture card, your video feed over HDMI actually becomes a webcam that you can use on your system. So let me show you what that looks like. If I would be selecting the capture card, so this is the generic capture card that I have here. So this capture card, another one of those goes into my MacBook and I'm using that now. This is 20 euros, and it actually shows up as USB video. So this device is called USB video. Whatever goes into this HDMI port is actually being streamed directly to my Mac as a camera. And these also support 4K, so it's super neat a way to actually uh, record high quality video. Uh, why am I telling this? There are a lot of different options, but mostly we're mixing and matching these types of cameras. So if you want to spice up your footage, for example, with a top-down view, like I'm showing this particular example, I suddenly can record all of these cameras in, in one go. So in this particular example, I'm running multiple scenes in detail, and each of those scenes has their own video source. So that video source could be any camera or capture device that you have selected or an external screen share. So this way you can easily record all kinds of footage in detail in one single take. I don't have to worry about timestamps, I don't have to worry about offloading the footage, 
All of these cameras are just connected to my MacBook and I record them in one single go. 